This is Gonzo speaking. Yay, thank you again for coming. It was a wonderful conversation last time. Thank you. It's limited, but it is in still informational in some ways. Yes, absolutely. I uh, I was very much impressed and I was very much happy that uh, that I got to speak to you and connected to you in, in, in that way. And uh, your answers helped me a lot in my understanding. Now we don't have the audience, but uh, I'm recording it with intention to publish it later. Understood. Um, so I guess the questions remain the same. And the main question is, what is the situation? Uh, what are the main players except the Gerg Fitnir? Who is actually working on Earth? Uh, There's many that are involved. Some are involved openly and others are not. So there is a, a network of people that are working. I should say, I call them people, but they are humans and aliens alike. Mm -hmm. And um, and even there are a few uh, non-humanoid species involved in some of the things that are happening for the change of the planet for a positive change. Now, not as many of them are non-humanoid, but you must understand there are many interests in, for many different things and uh, all kinds of ulterior motives as well. So the circuitry that is happening throughout the earth with uh, the changes that are needed to be brought about work very slowly and work uh, with uh, one step at a time, as you might understand. But taking one step is a huge forward movement. You have to understand that as well, because dealing with Earth governments and dealing with the uh, thought process of humans is almost tragic. Yes, yes. How tragic is it? That's my main question. How hopeless we are. We, you are not hopeless, but you are near hopeless at times. There are, there are those countries and leaderships that are hopeless, that have no understanding whatsoever of what the future holds or what it means to be uh, progressive. They have no idea how to do this, but the major countries of your planet do have an idea of what progressive progressive behavior is for the planet because they have a greater vision. The larger the country, the greater the vision because they see more of what's happening in diverse ways on the planet. They are informed by many different other countries about what is happening and they are also informed by people from off-world what is happening as well. So their vision of the future is different than those smaller countries that have no idea what is happening. So how? So, okay, okay, go ahead. To change all things over, almost impossible. What we need to do is just change the larger of the populations, and then others will follow. At least one of the great countries has got to listen to the extent that changes will be made that are progressive enough for other countries to see that it is a standard that they must also reach to. Do you understand that? Absolutely, this? but it seems like almost impossible. It is very difficult, especially with the humans that we are working with. They have their own agendas and do not even want to be bothered by the fact that their countries or the planet is in danger. They do not see it is as they are in danger. They see that the future is in danger. And so when it comes to thinking about the future far off, they don't care. When it comes to thinking about the future nearby, that is what they are concerned with. So this is the kind of uh, thought process we must build into them is that nearby futures are are definitely in 
in jeopardy. Yes. So how close are we to uh, to the war? Well, that is a good question. Is there going to be a war? It is close. If it is coming, it's close by. Because unless we can achieve some change within the next, oh, two years, there will be no, it will be inevitable. What kind of war could it be? I can't really imagine it. It's uh, with all the nuclear weapons, how can there be a war? There, the war would go, uh, you, you don't understand uh, what is the thought process of the Middle East. Mm -hmm. The Middle East are not looking at nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm to fight their war. Mm -hmm. All the larger countries and maybe even those countries that have nuclear weapons might be tempted at times to use them, but they know better. Mm -hmm. They're wiser than to do so. The Middle East, it's more personal. They would rather punch you in the face uh -huh, uh -huh. than bomb you. But their thought process has changed over in the last uh, few decades to being more armed and dangerous but they still do not think of nuclear weapons to wipe each other out they would rather convert each other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the conversion method doesn't work because they are all very stubborn and they're brought up to be that way mm -hmm. they're brought up never to listen to any other belief system but the one they are taught. Mm -hmm. And if there is any changes in that belief system, then they are infidels and they cannot listen to them. And they are they are enemies, almost. They can there are some that tolerate others of different religions only because they are not hostile. But if there was an argument, they would become enemies immediately. This is a very backward civilization. Mm -hmm. so this is what we must deal with. And this is the place where it is most difficult to deal with other things that we are dealing with, is in the Middle East, where things are always mentioned in jihad form instead of peaceful form. Uh, they want to overpower their enemies and make them believe the same way that they do either that or within the case of isis or isil whatever you call them they want to destroy all those that are not with them which is a very uh, psychotic thought process but it is the way it is and how the work there is difficult mm -hmm. that is why there are some that are working, such as Grindel, mm -hmm. that are working with Israel especially, having a very difficult time making inroads into thought processes. Mm -hmm. And he is one of the most uh, influential mm -hmm. as far as being able to talk people into things. He's very persuasive. And just consider how many of... Grindel will we would need to bring about a, a major change at this time and this is our conundrum how much is um, how much a secret um, secret security forces like Mossad and others how much are they um, cooperating with the aliens about there's about 35 percent of those on earth during secret society missions that are actually dealing with aliens also uh, directly. Mm -hmm. Now, indirectly, uh, more like 50%. So I think they are in control of the war and um, they have a lot of power, right? They do have a lot of financial power, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. But as far as uh, political power, <laughs> excuse me they have some but they want more and they're buying their way into the government is it positive thing or negative because um, i'm not sure yeah, they're well, positive guys 
they are positive, but it does have some negativity to it. It it depends how driven you are, what you will do to save your world. And these people are very driven. And sometimes you may call it a negative action for a positive reason. Uh huh. And that is about what war is all about. It is a negative thing to bring about something positive. That is how we view war. It is a negative force that will bring about positive actions. However, the thought process of your people must change. Otherwise, you will not survive. Mm -hmm. So, other than war, we might have some other kind of um, uneasy, uneasy in the uh, Western world, right? Some oh, world. absolutely. You're going to have major unrests in the next two years. Even farther. Uh, but... I'm saying major unrest in the next two years that I know exactly what's going to happen in many ways. After that, it's a guessing game. Can, can you give me a clue what, what kind of uh, events are coming and how can we prepare ourselves for that? How can we wrap our mind around that? The preparation is futile because it will happen differently in different places. And the places, you cannot prepare for these kinds of events. They're, they happen suddenly, they take you off guard, and they bring you into submission in some ways. They also wake you up. And that is one of the missions that is happening. The people of the earth must be awakened. And if we cannot do it through peaceful means, we must let these things happen and not stop them from happening because we have stopped many harmful things from happening in the past but people are still asleep so now we are taking our hands away from those kinds of uh, control we are not going to stop things like we did before there will be harm done but it is the only way to save the planet as a whole. Exactly. I um, have the same feeling like uh, Vietnam War was devastating for the world, but it brought up the um, awakening which I think was closest to ascension at the moment. There was a huge awakening in the 60s. And uh, the same thing was with Russian War, Russian-German War, that was awakening after the war. There is awakening after destructive things happen, after great casualties. Of course, after schools and shootings and things of this nature happen, those communities wake up to a certain extent, but some of them are still not reached. A greater catastrophe must happen. I see. So when that happens, would we lose our internet and cell phone communications? Perhaps for a day or two. So that is not coming away. There are ways for people to fix these things easily. They have made some inroads in how to uh, advance their technology so they don't lose money. Mm -hmm. So uh, is it, would it be a great opportunity for disclosure when certain big unrest and disasters happen? Yes. Disclosure is inevitable. Mm -hmm. Earth's contact, however, at this point does not seem inevitable at the moment. It is inevitable for the future. But first, contact is being pushed farther and farther away. This is a sad thing. We do see that um, there will be other things that will happen, and we hope that that will draw things closer again. But you see, as thought processes move, um, that has been pushed farther away. Whereas uh, 
the the thought of them knowing all things is right there in their face. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I'm trying to imagine uh, the scenarios how the unrest would happen in the Western world. And um, possibly light workers can coordinate if, if the cell phones and internet doesn't go away. So it might help light workers to, well, to coordinate and become more united in many ways and more active. Many the ways. only way that it would go away completely is if you would have your enemies shoot the satellites out of the sky, which is still a possibility. But as far as some of the upheaval, it would only shut down the systems for a couple days, the cell towers, etc., and and then they would be reopened. If you have something of a greater magnitude, which is on the horizon as well, your satellites would be destroyed, and then the system would be down. Right. But that is not within the first two years. Uh huh. Um, when you mentioned last time about financial changes, I'm still, I cannot imagine our society without money. Like in Russia, we experimented with, the idea was to get rid of money for, for 70 years, Soviet Union tried to get rid of money, to get completely to distribution of wealth, through uh, social justice and through uh, some coordinated ways. Like whoever deserves something, they would distribute it. And it was a complete disaster. Yes, because they were alone. They were not getting any support by the rest of the world. The world has to support it. And they did not. In order for a world change to happen, the world must be in support of it. At least five large nations must support one another in it in this change. To get rid of the monetary system would free your people from many of their problems. But um, it's not my point. My point was that uh, getting rid of monetary system was basically replacing capitalism with totalitarian system. It was a dictatorship. Uh, dictator, dictator, dictatorship of pretty, yes. pretty inefficient type. Basically, when people don't have their property and their money, they lose interest and they try to steal things from the, from the government. That would be the original thought process. Right. They have to be given another thought process. When, they, when you take something away, you have to put something in its place. Exactly. You cannot just take it away and have it work and not put anything of equal value in its place. Mm -hmm. It has to be of equal value or greater mm -hmm. for it to work. So I'm studying the alien economies as much as I can. And somehow many aliens choose not to use money and still the things work, but they are mostly uh, telepathic. So deception becomes much less possible in human society there is so much deception and it doesn't seem like we are becoming telepathic fast so if you take money away there will be lots of deception yes it is not yet time for that to happen the beginnings of it must be laid years in advance and that is what we're doing now would it be electronically um like like now now the money system has a lot of electronic components yes it is um the distribution and um transfer of goods all is electronic so are you are you talking about continuing the electronic distribution not exactly it will have to happen for quite a while however that will change over to something else which I am not allowed to divulge at this time. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you for explaining that. But you, things will go on fairly as usual for quite a while. There will be small changes, small changes here, there, and everywhere. And then the larger changes will have to come after the base is laid. And only a few of the larger changes will come first. And then the symbolism or 
the, the symbolism of the whole thing will have to be laid out first so that people can understand the network, the system, and be aware of how it works before it actually is tried. They must be educated, they must be uh, practiced. And this is what we will plan to do before the changeover occurs. All right, and here comes our usual topic of discussion. Like humans would really dislike if aliens would come and give them the system because of the na human nature. So it would be much better if uh, it was the humans who would introduce the- That aliens. is why we are out here. That is why we are working with the aliens as we are because it will be humans that will bring this information initially. Of course, it will be because we have learned about it from our greater teachers, but it, it will be us and only us because we, can, we are the only ones that can interact in our own societies. We are the ones that must bring this change Thank you. Is there a name for your group? I mean, the name that you can disclose. There are many names that are working out here for this particular action, but the human names are the human factions on your planet have very interesting names and disguises. They may sound like one thing and be another. Would it be like Silver Legion? There might be one or two, but I will mention one that will be of a great interest to you, mm -hmm. and that is Greenpeace. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, but no one would ever, I mean, of course they know that Greenpeace is there for the world, but they have no idea how much of the world they affect. Okay. I'll check it out. I never paid attention, actually. Mm. And that is why. They have a name that you can feel safe with and one that is almost forgettable. Mm -hmm. So, um, how close we are to ecological disasters? Very. What kind of ecological disasters do you see? Earthquakes? Yes, and other things. But I cannot divulge that time frame or what exactly will be happening. But there are things that are on the edge of disaster ecologically. Well, I think the word is seismically also. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what would be the role of Russia in the transformation of uh, the next few years? Is there something positive about Russia? Russia has their hands in everything around the world. There's not a single country you will not find a Russian spy. And so they want to know everything about everything. And of course, they're involved in the change. Are they... Positively involved or negatively? They are positively involved, and there is a portion that is also negatively involved. You cannot have one without the other in that country. Do you think this, uh, so now there is a, uh, a secret, former secret service is now is in control. Uh, but uh, most of the positive thinking people are outside of it. Is there any hope that um, <laughs> things will switch around and there will be more positivity in, in government? At this point, things are going downhill in your governments. They are getting rid of anyone who knows anything. Um, the leaderships are protecting themselves because they're guilty of many crimes. And so anyone that uh, is going to expose them or has information that will expose them, 
will disappear or be released from their positions. This is a time where when they are returned, when people are put back into these offices, they will be people that may be helping us. Uh, that was too cryptic. You mean when uh, positive people will be placed in offices or what do you mean? Positive and negative people will be replaced, but we will be coming in as their replacements in some areas. Secretly or openly? Secretly. Aha. Uh -huh. do, uh, do you recruit more volunteers? We don't have to. They're coming by droves to, to help us. By what? By droves. I don't know that word. Can you explain? Droves is multitude. Oh, okay. Got it. There are many, I would say, we get at least a hundred volunteers a day. We cannot use them all, but there are certain ones within them that are very useful. When, when you speak about volunteers, are you talking about on the surface or in the outside world? Both. Oh, wow. How bad is the secret space program and uh, runaway civilization? Are they cooperating with you guys? Many of the secret... Uh, uh, secret space program. That program is not involved with us. They have their own agenda. But the runaway peoples, many of them are on our side. Wonderful. Uh, there was a discussion of, I mean, there is continuous discussion of China taking over the economy, of the world economy. Can you comment anything about that? Actually, China is in no place to do so. They are actually weaker, one of the weaker economic societies at this time. Uh, there was another comment, which I think was like 30 years old, but still, uh, that uh, the economy is not run from Washington, it's run from, uh, from UK. Is it real? There is a little bit of truth to that, but not, con not a lot. There is some control that happens from outside. But most of it is not acceptable, except in a, a way that is, hmm, clandestine. All right, All right. Of course, that, that was what was meant, yes. All right, I, uh, we ran out of our time, but it was so much pleasure and so much um, revealing, a revelation of coming from, from you even though you're, 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 um, you're limited by certain restrictions. And I appreciate there is, there is so much going on, I could talk for a week and still not have it all said. But the thing is, many things are happening and it will come about in time, we hope, to save your planet. Our planet. Right. Um, because... I was born there. Of course. Uh, thank you. Uh, one, one interesting question, I guess, will conclude, uh, take home question would be, like right now, most of the light workers prefer to ignore the politics, economy, the news, mainstream news completely. And it is very healthy to just ignore the whole thing. So uh, now you mentioned Greenpeace. There is some idea to research that. Is there anything else, like in general, what kind of, sciences and information bodies of information what topics should we research for ourselves what should come in our awareness the information from cern do you know what cern is um cern switzerland something like like collider or something like that yes the hydro collider uh-huh that will play a part in some of the things that will happen in the future. Right. I heard about that, yes. And, and there are other places that you must look as well. Mount Shasta, the Himalayas, 
these areas will play a part of something in the future as well. What I cannot say. All right, of course. I mean, what topics should we study? Economy? Should we study politics? Uh, what topics would you recommend politics for us? Are at their worst at this time. That is where you should start to ease the pressure of the world peoples. Your po politicians are becoming more powerful and greedy than ever before. It is not a good thing. Got it. Thank you. At this point, uh, I have to wrap it up. And uh, thank you very much. And come again, please. It was very helpful. Excellent. Gunter out. Max out. Wow, okay. Hey, oh. welcome, Jim. Nice session it was. Oh, good. Even more information came came in. Oh, good. Very helpful. Good. I'll let you go, and I see you soon. All right, I'll see you at...